excited about uh, our, how things are going with us. Uh, as Megan was talking about uh, the facility, it's a great facility. Uh, Dr. Dr. Zinger did put every effort into making sure that we're going to have a class one facility and that, that we're going to be able to compete at a national level like everyone else. So we're really excited about the facility. And, and then we have people like Frank Matheson and his crew that works really hard on a daily basis in order to make sure that things are not only ready here, but double duty as in we're in indoor season right now and making sure things are ready at uh, Anschutz Pavilion as well. So with all that said, we, you know, we're really working hard. And you know, yesterday the weather was nice enough to work outside. And uh, today we're going to be inside. So that's the way the weather is this time of year. And I'm glad we do have facilities that our athletes can train well in both. We're looking forward to having a great uh, Kansas Relays this year. Uh, Milan Donnelly's doing a phenomenal job of uh, getting things ready for that. Uh, we had the uh, opening of you know, the uh, Rock Chalk Park last year at the Kansas Relays, and it was phenomenal. And so for hopefully this year it will be more exciting. You could just see the athletes when they come out and look in the locker rooms, when they come out and, and look at, you know, the track, and they just smile. And so now we're going to be, be able to have the um, advantage of coming out here and training on a daily basis and, and feeling, really getting a, this is our home feeling. And so when you're talking about this being your home, it's a great feeling. Kansas does care about track and field and that this is a place for track fanatics and people who want to succeed in track and field to come because you have the you have the facility and you have the coaching staff and if you have those two together then something great can happen. This is a great place. Yeah, all track athletes know if you see Rock Shark Park that that's a that's a great track. That's a fast track. She'll drop fast times on it. We love it being out here because coming from Memorial Stadium, there was kind of a swirling wind with that U shape. And now out here every day it's a straight tailwind and you know the runway and everything's better. And so it's been it's been wonderful for us. I know all the guys love it. We had our first meet at Kansas Relays last year and the throwing facility is going to be what I'm like this year. You have a set goal or you just wasn't finished quite yet, especially the discus and the hammer throwing. But I was able to throw on the shuffle ring here. It was, it was actually kinda nice. I know I'm right right now, because but I'm not right in the Memorial right Stadium, the throwing, throwing events were right outside of the stadium, and now they're in, so I felt like in, in, in the competition at that point, we were not like just outside, we were thrown away. The All-Americans that, that were on the team when we won the national championship definitely left a legacy for us to, um, to compete and strive to, so I mean, they're still around, a lot of them, you know, we're all friends, and you know, they come and they, they still support us, so it's really easy to always, you know, strive and like have this still competitive edge that they live and because we know that that's our, our, co our coaches expectation for us and that's our expectation for ourselves we just go out there every day and push push each other and on competition day push push each other to, to beat that next person so that we can you know kind of put ourselves in their shoes and you know make sure that Kansas is always uh, a competitor and try to fit.